Welcome back to Empire Motor Club, everyone. I got a brand new car. I never thought I would get a Lamborghini, but here it is. The Lamborghini LP570 Superleggera. So let's get straight into this. I got this car last summer, but I've been keeping it a secret from everyone for as long as I could, and I can't keep it a secret any longer. It's been in the shops, we've been working on it, I've been tinkering with it, modifying it, and this is the finished product. But I do wanna talk about why I decided to get a Lamborghini LP570 Superleggera. Firstly, in a changing world where everything is going either hybrid or electric, naturally aspirated cars are kind of like a hidden gem now. You just gotta find them and you gotta buy it, you know, especially the super rare ones. And the Superleggera was considered the super lightweight version of the LP560. They made a lot of LP560s, but they literally only made 600 something to 700 LP570s. There is a even more rare version, which is the STS, Super Trofeo Stradale, which they only made 150 units of. And it's actually because of the STS that I got to drive in another vlog that you guys can see the link to down below. That actually, you know, affected me a lot. It influenced me and it kind of dragged me into the rabbit hole of Lamborghini, which I never thought was possible. Because of Ryan, I was more of a Ferrari guy than a Lambo guy. You know, once in a while, Ryan gives me a lot of shit for saying, yo, I think that Lambo is kind of dope. It's weird, I know. Uh, I've had a couple Ferraris before, I even McLarens, and I, I just never thought I would own a Lamborghini. I've driven a lot of Lamborghinis and a lot of friends' Lamborghinis. I think they're cool cars, uh, but when I started to look for something that was naturally aspirated, obviously, you know, Lamborghinis and Ferraris tick the box. I think I wanted to try something new, something different. Secondly, the price and the value. A lot of cars have been going up in value while the Gallardos really sunk. Obviously, you can get an LP560 or LP550 for much cheaper than the LP570, but that was not the goal. I wanted something rare. I wanted something special. And in Taiwan, there's about 20 something units. So that's really rare. And when I found it, you know, it had about 35,000 KM. Uh, the price point was a little over 5 million NTD. And I think generally speaking for a supercar, that's really, really cheap. And I do think that putting my money in something like this would actually be a good idea. But the third reason is the drive, the feeling, the mechanical analog feeling from the E-Gear. It's not a manual, it's an E-Gear. But the E-Gear was a single clutch. It kind of has that feeling where when you're shifting gears, it kind of pulls you back and you feel like doom, doom, doom like that. And I don't think a lot of people will appreciate it, especially for the younger guys out there who are used to modern cars, PDKs, you know, dual clutch transmissions. But I kind of miss that feeling. When I drove the car, I loved how it felt. Now, this is kind of like the third and the fourth reasons, but it kind of goes all together, is the look of the car. I really like the edgy designs of everything. It's very pointy. It's very low. It's very sleek. It looks like a fighter jet, but it's got that you know, old school Lamborghini feel to it, but not that old school because it's not vintage and it's not modern. So for me, it's kind of like a modern classic or a neo vintage. And I guess that's the sweet spot for me. Okay, so the interior and the design and the drive feel, you know, these are all the reasons why I really liked this car. And I guess a fifth reason why I got this was because of the engine. It was a 5.2 liter V10. It screams. You know, it's, it's music to my ears and it revs up over 8,000, almost 9,000 RPM and it just goes. That naturally aspirated power, it's just, it just pulls, you know, and it's, it's beautiful. Super Leggera obviously means lightweight. So we have the bucket seats, carbon fiber, 
saves a lot of weight. The door panels, all carbon fiber, saves more weight. The center console, all carbon fiber, saves even more weight. And this car actually has a small harness bar, kind of like a small roll cage behind the two seats. So I can strap in the harnesses. And you know, it's all Alcantara. And these are the differences of the interior compared to the LP560 and the LP550. And you know, when you sit in it, you know you are going to battle. And that feeling, that low slung feeling when you sit in, is just so badass. Now, the last reason that really got me was, you know, it's sort of tuner friendly. You know, I can't really do too much to the engine unless I want to do a supercharger, but I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to replace the rear section. It had an Akrapovich, uh, but it was like 12 years old. So to kick off the mods, I got a Klein Innovation rear exhaust with valves. Inconel 625, beautiful, screams, sounds lovely, and it's even lighter weight than the Akrapovich. Next, I went with a Tech Tech ECU just to kind of give it a upgrade. You can't really tune too much. Uh, I went to Motormax in Taoyuan. Daniel, you guys are awesome. Uh, you know, they hooked it up just like that. It's pretty much just a software upgrade. I gained like maybe 10, 15 horsepower. If you have the LP560, you get about 22, 25 horsepower extra. Exterior, I went with a Darwin Pro from Bumper to give it a more modern look. It protrudes out a little more. It gives it more of an under chin, which I really like and it's full carbon fiber. And then I went with a very special color by Inozi Tech. I wanted this car to be unique and special. There's already not a lot in Taiwan, but you know, a lot of Lambo guys, they really hook their cars up and they really do a nice job. I wanted to take this car to the next level and I just wanted this car to be known as the hottest LP570 out there. The color needed to be special. So I was talking with Jerry from Inozi Tech and you know he was showing me this new color pearl lavender and i was like dude that is sick it's classy it's sexy in super gloss and it was different it was their new color by inozi tech so inozi tech big shout out all right you guys make the sickest colors in super gloss just look at it i mean it just goes so well you know, with the stock OEM, like that neon green color. It reminds me of that anime from back in the day, Evangelion. If you guys have watched Evangelion, you know what I'm talking about. You know, this is, this is just sick, it's badass. So because of that, I just had to make, you know, an anime style t-shirt for the LP570. So what I'm wearing right now is the new LP570 Empire t-shirt. So this is gonna be a limited run, 288 my lucky numbers, and this will be out really soon, so don't miss out, go get yours. Now, going back to the mods, as you guys can see, this is kind of like an anthracite dark charcoal finish that we have for the EMC regulators. Uh, and these are one piece, 20 by nine in the front, 20 by 12 in the rear. It's just massive and it looks good. Stocks have 19s, but you know, we gotta look good. And, the coilovers are KW suspension V3 with the front lift HLS2 because this car is just sitting real low right now, but it looks damn good. It's a beautiful ride right now and you guys are going to be seeing a lot of this car. So this is actually our third car working with Inozi Tech. You know, obviously the 996 Turbo RS, the Audi R8, now the LP570. And I got to say, Jerry is amazing to work with. And this time I went back to Diamant again. And uh, you know, he was just always super helpful, making sure that all the corners and everything and all the edges are straight. It's not an easy car to wrap, I heard, but you know what, they did an amazing job. So much love to Diamond. Those guys are always super professional. Love the wrap work. So if you guys want to check them out, go hit them up too. And this is where it's going to get interesting. I'm actually going to drive the car, take you guys to go pick up Ryan. He's never seen this car. He's never been in this. He knows that I got it last year and he knows that I've been working on it, but I wanted to get a first-hand reaction to a Lamborghini from Mr. Ferrari. So let's get going. The 
Cody's here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's look at it. He went with purple. Yeah, he went with purple. He went with purple. He went with purple. <laughs> let's go. Let's go for a ride. Oh, you drive it. Oh, I get to drive it. All right. Maybe I like it a little bit more now. Yeah, maybe, okay. Maybe you'll, uh, maybe you'll change. Oh, I did wear a Ferrari. I did. I did. You know, I, I've been wanting this moment for a long time because Ryan was the one who got me into Ferraris. Uh -huh. and I was a Ferrari owner. I've had two Ferraris. And uh, now, this is my first Lamborghini, bro. And we've always talked about never owning yeah. a Lamborghini. You've gone to the dark side. I've gone to the dark side. You I have. Gone to the dark I side. have. I own a Lamborghini, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the feedback I'm getting from the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah it's, it's harder, it, right? It's it, 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 it's it's a lot harder. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I, I even talked about this earlier. It's like it's a mix. German Italian car. I can tell the uh, the, the Germans part. Yeah. And I can also tell. I can I can also still still feel that there's Italy behind this as well. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I, sure. so that's kind of cool. You know. Yeah. I mean, anytime you can have Italian passion, but with German reliability. Yeah. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, for sure. For sure. And, and, oh, it's fast. It's fast. Yeah. And it feels mechanical. Oh yeah. Oh right. And it, like the gear is shift is just pretty crisp. Yeah. But it's purple, bro. It's purple. <laughs> yeah, it's purple. How do you like purple. the purple? How do you like the wrap? Honestly, how do you like the wrap? The wrap looks good, but it's purple, bro. Man, I'm I'm actually kind of feeling this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm I'm feeling this more than like a bar con. Yeah. Yeah. I. You remember I was telling you, I was like, hey, should I look at the Horicon? And you're like, no. You're, yeah. you're, you didn't even you didn't even hesitate. You're like, no. Yeah, because I, I, I kind of feel like that's a little too modern, right? Yeah. I mean, this, I, I, I can I actually can feel a little bit of a heritage behind this, you know? Right? It, it looks a little classic, a little bit vintage. And in terms of like, Mines. and in terms of like the emotions I'm getting, from like yeah, the from, feedback and the emotions. Yeah, the from I mean the, the sound, the visuals, yeah. uh, you know, the touch, yeah, even the smell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean I, I would for a five million car, dude, that's a fucking new M3. Uh, yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? This and, we're, is, and we're getting a Lamborghini here. Th this is way funner than that. Right? And this is where I don't mind you calling it an Audi because I get the reliability. <laughs> I'm kidding, I get the I'm reliability. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, <laughs> That's okay. That's all kidding, good. But it is. That's now. why we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> You guys will see my hat was like ah it's good she's man quiet dude it's enough that we've been saying this all along 500 something horsepower in a lightweight car it's all you need it's all you need yeah any more is just it, it, it's, it's too much it's yeah too it's unnecessary much. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, at our age, I feel I feel like we're, we're not as snobbish, obviously. No. Uh, if it's up, so if something's good, we can call it that. This yeah. is a good, this is good. This is good. This is a good buy. Thank you, brother. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, I it, got the approval from Mr. Ferrari. It, it's yo. I'm telling you, this is. Uh, I'm actually thinking about getting one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's. I mean, hey, we should start looking for it, man. We I mean, should. if it's, you know, I mean, if, if there's the right one come, comes up. You're not going to lose money on it. No, you won't. And I actually think that it'll only go up. These cars will only appreciate. I mean, I don't think it'll be over like seven, but because the SDS will always be more expensive, yeah. right? So if that's already seven point something, I, I have a feeling this should be over six mil. Yeah. You know, yeah, so, yeah. and you had fun driving this thing. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. All right. That's what it's about, guys. Let's, that's let's what it's about. A, let's go to the twisties. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. Twisties. 
wall. Guys, we're gonna end it right here. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more content coming from this LP570 Superleggera. So, stay tuned people. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.